This week we're going to be talking about Charlie. Now Charlie had a lot of infection within her mouth, so that led to her getting dental implants. Can you imagine how hard it is to break a habit? Now Charlie broke one of her biggest habits, which was she stopped smoking before her procedure so she could achieve her dream smile. And I'm Dr. Nielsen. I'm going to talk to you about a patient who came in named Charlene. Uh, she came in with an upper complete de denture, a traditional denture, no implants, no teeth, uh, suction or hopefully suction, uh, probably a lot of adhesive to hold that in. Um, on, the, on the upper, on the lower, she was wearing a partial denture. It was a temporary partial denture that she'd been wearing for many years. Those are generally only meant to last about six months or so. She had hers for several years. Um, you could see by this x-ray, uh, uh, no upper teeth. The bone's relatively smooth. It looks good. On the lower, lot of bone loss. These are just root tips here. So this tooth is just standing alone, only held in by tissue. And she was wearing a partial on top of that, being supported by this, and just this tooth and that tooth and because of that it definitely was not stable at all so the patient was having difficulty eating it was just moving around there was pain infection um, a lot of bone loss dips down a, a, a lot back there um, a lot of dentists might tell Charlene that she's not a candidate for implants because she's had bone, so much bone loss but she came here and uh, uh, was only able to get one arch done only the lower because that was her biggest concern she doesn't love her upper denture, but she's able to get along with it okay, and uh, she just wants to get a little bit done at a time. So she came in, we were able to remove the remaining lower teeth, get all that infection out of there, get the bad bone out of there, and place four implants on the lower for uh, a prosthetic to be retained uh, uh, with those implants. On the upper, she has great bone for implants, but that's just not something she could do at this point, so that's something she plans on coming back for us to do. So I'll show you a post-op x-ray. All right, this is Charlene's post-op x-ray. So as you can see, we took out all the infected teeth, got the bad bone out of there, smoothed out the bone to make sure that that's not gonna cause any problems in the future, and then placed four implants, four rather large implants, really far into the bone to really support the prosthetic for the lower and she's very happy with this. It's, it's holding in her lower prosthetic very well and now she can't wait to come in so that we could uh, place implants on the upper and get her something to match the upper so she doesn't have to take out teeth anymore so she can just keep them in and eat food like she did uh, when she was in her 20s and not have to worry about pain or infection or difficulty chewing because her dentures are moving around. Everything's gonna stay in there nice and tight and, and not move at all. My experience with Nubia has been fantastic. First of all, I want to say that if anybody plans on going this route, just be patient and see it through. The doctors here are fantastic. And Mike, he was a godsend when they hired on Mike. He's the prosthetic. Um, he does all the fittings and everything, and he's just been a godsend to me. I just love and appreciate him so much. So at the tail end, I feel like I got the very best. I've had, I've had issues with my dental uh, for years, for probably the last 15 years. I didn't make a whole lot of money. I didn't have insurance. So I would let my teeth go. <laughs> That's one thing I felt like I could cut, you know? And it led to infections. And eventually I would go and have a tooth pulled and then another pulled, and then another pulled. And it's like the infections that I was getting was just spreading along my whole bottom of my teeth. I was a smoker at the time, and uh, that didn't help matters any. I learned that. I didn't know that then. Yeah, and then I was just, I work in front of the public, and I'm a cashier, and my, I could not speak to my customers. I was too embarrassed to talk. I would not ever smile, you know, or I'd close my lips when I smiled. It came off looking really bad. So uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time, but I compared, did some comparing and with uh, some of the other places around and uh, this just seemed like the best fit. I decided to go this route because I didn't have any options. I've seen people with false teeth on the bottom and they can't eat they're always falling out and i'm going i just i can't do that there's got to be another choice so 
This is why I went this way. I've had dentures for the last uh, eight, nine years. Terrible, they don't, they don't stay in. Dentures hurt, you know, they don't stay in. You can't eat anything, you can't eat an apple, you can't eat corn, corn on the cob. You know, there's all these things. I couldn't even eat a cucumber, and I love cucumber salad, and I couldn't even eat that. So besides the fact that I couldn't talk right, my bite was wrong. The decisions that I made back then wouldn't have even entered the ballpark. I would have gone directly this route. I, you know, I feel like I wasted so many years with uh, dentures when I could have been smiling and happy and confident again with these. Hands down, I would have gone this way directly if it was available to me. No more pain, that's the bottom line for me. It was no more pain. And the ability to smile with confidence, you know, that, that also helps, but the, I've just had so much pain. I understand all that, that you do have to allow the process to work and you have to trust in, in what they're doing. You know, I understand that very well now because had I rushed them or had they done something faster like other companies will do, <laughs> and I don't need to name names, but other companies will rush you through the whole process and then you have nothing but bone problems and jaw problems the whole rest of your life, you know, what good is that? I wanted a fix, but I wanted it to be a permanent fix, you know? And that's why I trusted Nubia so much, is because I liked what they were saying, I liked the way they took their time. My advice to people who are sitting on the fence, undecided which way to turn, is take the leap. <laughs> Get to the other side because it's so worth it. Um, just be patient. Trust your doctors here at Nubia. I can't speak for any of the other doctors, but trust the doctors here at Nubia and uh, work with them and just be patient because it is quite a process to go through, but it's a worthy process and you will be so much better off.